Hey, what's up, Starman crew? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing something a little bit different because, as you may know, I do stream. I do live stream some games, and I do play a lot of Smash Bros. as well as some other Nintendo games. So you may see clips like this. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. I can't it. And again, if I... Wow! Or like this. Because it's not that, like, any social media is easy. But because um, I've been able to grow such a following on like Instagram and Twitter, it's just like less common that I. Uh... Which is all fine and dandy. To be honest, I play Smash Bros like competitive play style and competitive rule set, but I'm not like the best player. I would say that I'm like low to mid tier at best uh, on my best day. And I have always just like used the regular GameCube controller, which is cool. Some people prefer the. Pro controller, I do prefer the GameCube because I've been using it since Melee. But I did reach out to a controller mod company named Multishine Controller. The link will be in the bio so that I could test it out and show you all. And here is my controller. So here it is, super pretty. I have the purple buttons, uh, basically the same layout. You can see the cuts in the uh, different analog sticks. And those sound really crisp. And I will break down and tell you exactly what makes this controller different than this one and why it may be worth the buy as it has helped me improve my gameplay. But let's jump into that. All right, so here is our controller. You can see that it is the same exact Smash style controller as the one that they had originally sold. So my other controller is two years old. I got it when the game came out, or three years old, whatever. Whatever, however old Smash is now. So as you can see here, we do have notches here in the C stick. So some people do use this for tilt. Some people use this for their smash attacks. I personally use it for my tilt attacks and it does make it a bit easier when directing because I always end up mixing up my, my up tilt with my forward tilt. And same thing, down tilt and forward tilt, they, they just kind of get mixed up as you're using the regular controller. And this just seems to give you a little bit more control and range when using it. Now you can obviously see that the buttons are just prettier. Um, the purple looks really, really nice on this controller. With the black, there are many different styles. If you do go onto the website, you will see they had a bunch for me to choose from, but this is the one that I decided to go with. Um, again, you see notches here, and it's the same exact thing. It's all for control, it's all for range, and it's, it's very, very awesome. Then if you look at the top, if you hear those bad boys, these are specially designed so that they are cut and perforated and when you're doing so, you will notice that you just get a faster press and a smoother press. So when I do use this controller, it has been a couple of years, but even in the past, it does get a bit stuck sometimes when I'm pressing. And this is just cut so that it fits better. There's less of a chance of it getting stuck. And it's awesome. It can help you for parrying. It helps you for reaction time. It does all that great things, which I like to try and parry even online. I don't really care about my timing offline right now, especially since when COVID hit, I went on uh, mostly online. So I do parry a lot just because I do play a lot more online. Um, and it can help you get like really cool clips and whatnot. So I will show you a couple right now like this. All right, and just looking at them one more time, you can see them side by side. This control is a little bit dirty. I do have to clean it. Um, but you do see the differences in just the style. It does look a lot nicer. And honestly, one of the like coolest things that you can do as a Smash player, and this goes for any fighting game, it goes for really anything you do when you're playing like Pokemon TCG, you wanna have the nice sleeves. You wanna have that mod of controller that looks a bit nicer than everyone else's, which is the basic. And I do find that Multishine Controllers is very, very helpful. The person who runs it is like an incredible dude. He's helped me out with a bunch. We've done a giveaway together. Uh, he sent me this in a very, very, very timely manner. He told me like a five day out and it got to me in like two or three days. It was, it was actually incredible. And it was during COVID too. Not that that's the experience every time, 
but he will try to get that for you as soon as possible, which is awesome. The packaging was really good. Nothing came back damaged. And he also provided spare parts, which is really, really cool because buttons do break. He did include some multi-shine stickers inside, which I will have to break out and definitely put on to somewhere, whether it's this controller or not. That's, that's actually awesome. I didn't even see the stickers in there when I first pulled this out. But when I tell you I am a streamer, I do play games with people pretty regularly and having this controller has helped as well as just the value of how cool it looks. It would be worth that in itself. It isn't too much more expensive than the regular controller, especially prices nowadays because of scalpers. And it's just, it's a very, very good way to go. And if you've been on this channel, you know that I hate scalpers because of Pokemon cards. But hey, if you have had this controller in the past, let me know in the comments what you think. Like I said, I will definitely vouch for this controller. I have played some Mario Kart with this controller as well, and it does work great. And it's just, it's just fantastic overall. I really can't say enough about it. So if you like what you saw today, two things. One, be sure to check out that link in my bio and there should be a code in there that will give you a percentage off and it is just a really good way to start. And two, it'll also have the link to their Instagram which is where they work mostly and they have their email as well as their DMs listed and they will be able to get back to you any questions that you have because I may not be able to answer all the technical questions for you. But hey, enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you get around to watching this.